You may already know that you can open a file in VS Code directly from the command line just by running code and then the file name. And of course, you can also use this to open directories as well in VS Code. What you might not know, however, is that you can also pipe standard in into VS Code and have VS Code open that input as a new file. Uh, to do that, all you need to do is run code and then in place of the file name, have a dash instead. So now VS Code will read from standard in and open that as a new file. Here, for example, let's use the echo command, just print one, two, three, and then pipe that into the standard in of VS Code over here. And again, we're going to read into standard in because we have that dash. And when I run this command, we should expect a new file with the contents one, two, three to be opened up. You can also combine this with more advanced commands as well. So let's chain together a few more commands here. So we're going to use the fortune command um, to generate a fortune, then the cow say command, and then we're going to pipe that uh, resulting art into VS Code here, again, using code and then the dash. So when we run this, we should expect a nice cow to show up in VS Code. Yep. So one thing to keep in mind when reading from standard in here is that this flag, or when you're reading from standard in, it implies that you're also using the wait flag. So you'll notice that the command has not actually returned here yet, and that is because the editor is still open. Once we close this editor, then the command returns. So when you're reading from standard in, it does imply that wait flag. Another kind of interesting thing is that if you have an instance of VS Code already open here, so I'm just going to open up this, and if I then pipe into standard in, it will actually open a new file in that existing workspace. So let's open a new file here. You can see that workspace is already open, and now I've gone and opened a new file within that workspace as well. The ability to read content from standard in really opens up some interesting possibilities, and it lets you integrate VS Code into your command line workflow in some interesting new ways.